Such is the case with film director Tim Burton, the mind's eye behind films like Batman, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Beetlejuice, and Edward Scissorhands. Burton has become one of the most successful and sought-after filmmakers of the 90s, due in part to his eccentricities that helped him develop his creative vision. Weirdo, weirdo, weirdos, yeah. I don't know you are, but what am I? The weirdos are probably the best. When I think of a weirdo, I usually think of somebody who is an individual and free and it's something that everybody should strive for because everybody's different. People ignore the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. I grew up in Burbank and in Burbank, California, there's no seasons. It's kind of like growing up on an empty canvas. You're forced to create your own world. It's showtime. School. Nobody seemed to really like me. I don't know. Nobody just seemed to really uh, like me that much. I am utterly alone. Which allowed me to have a lot of uh, free time to kind of uh, wander around in your own uh, head, you know. When you're in pain, you need some sort of release, like drawing, thinking, writing creating. That was the single most thrilling experience of my whole life. The characters in the films I've done, basically, it's the way I felt growing up. The Edward Scissorhands character for me was about the desire to connect with people. Hold me. I can't. There's something sad about it being separated, but there's also a kind of a wonderful freedom because it's like when people brand you as a uh, freak of some sort, it allows you to kind of act freakish without people really getting on your case. All right, let's try it again. Quiet, folks. Everybody has the power to create whatever in their mind that they want to create, really, and they can conform or not conform. Actually, it's fun not listening to anybody and just doing what you want to do. <laughs>